Hello there everybody and welcome back to another video here on the channel. So yeah. As you can see we are not well, we're over here in the lever. We're just about to grab the bucket. Oh yeah, that's not useful. <laughs> we'll just reset the trailer. Because, well, it's a bit stuck. No, that's not a reset menu. There we go, right. So we do have the bucket. And yeah, for some reason I'm getting quite bad FPS. Compared to normal, at least. Which, yeah, I don't know the reason for it, but it is kind of annoying. I'm just gonna turn the speakings off just to try and kind of help out with that. So, yeah, obviously, as you guys will remember if you've watched the last episode, we're doing this driveway. Just trying to get it so I can get over to this back corner as I want to try and spread over by the back, but obviously I have to be able to get there if we want to do that. Right, so we should hopefully be able to get close enough. So yeah, the lever, you know, it is a bit of a chunky machine compared to what I would like to use, but I mean, the deer wouldn't really work very well for this kind of thing. I mean, it just isn't what it's designed for. So suppose, yes, the deer is a digger. I mean, you can argue that it isn't really the kind of digger for doing this kind of thing. Just isn't great for it. So yeah, we're gonna spread you know, fairly thick at first until we get kind of most of the drive covered, and then we will compact it all out. And yeah, any excess will just be tipped into the truck that's over it. So yeah, for some reason the lever seems to be fairly easy to get stuck. Which is confusing, but because what this thing, you know, it should not really be getting stuck very easily at all. You know, it's a big wheel loader. Well, track loader really, you know, if you want to be precise. Door up, mashing that. Okay. It's a lot easier on exterior view. Kind of difficult interior wise to do this kind of thing. We probably should have phones on the road right now, but I could not bother to apply for all the different stuff that we need to because of restrictions. So yeah, we haven't gotten that. Yeah, anything that is on the pavement will be scooped up. But that isn't really a priority right now as uh, so, well. Yeah, you can just cross over it. Yeah. The road is kind of a bit more of a priority as you know, it's kind of needed. A lot more than the pavement uh, as well. You don't have the pavement up that anyway, and it's so far, so you might as well just cross over to the other pavement. So, 
Okay, yeah, no, we are going to use this tool to compact it all. Compacting is a slow but unpainful yet necessary job. I just need to select the tool that we want to use it. So yeah, when it's compacted it does lose quite a bit of colour. But you know that is just what's gonna happen. So yeah, it's useful having the compaction tool here. I mean, you know, it has got its issues. Yeah, no, hopefully this driveway should be pretty much ready. I'm going to quickly set my grass to disappear. Right, so, yeah, that's the driveway finished. I mean, we could have also kind of taken a move this hedge over a bit and you could be able to squeeze cars by but you know that doesn't really matter so yeah we still haven't had payment so technically this is still our property what we're working on so we can leave that there for a little minute. Don't remember where's our where did we put the mulch? Oh yeah, mulchers over there still. Right. So we need to head out in the truck now. As yeah, I'm sure you guys will understand, if we reset the trailer, we will have to collect it. And yeah, luckily it shouldn't be too far away. And yeah, basically what we have to do is go through oops, steering wheels are being a bit touchy to reset dead zones I think. Brilliant. Yeah I do. So had everything unplugged and now it's all being a bit weird. Oh, that actually, and if I stop, it's just a, the camera stops wandering. Thought it has. That's good. So I have fixed something by unplugging everything. But yeah, I don't really feel like it's very useful. Uh, well, you're in dead zones, which just kind of annoy me. And yeah, for some reason we are getting lag. So yeah, the payment for covering this for once the ballast, that was what I agreed previously. And yeah, he said to dump it just right out of the way. I feel like you, know, you can get enough equipment for the equipment to dump it in here would be kind of fairly what I would class certainly is out of the way. Oh, that's right, I need to quickly. So I need the ability to tip here. There. If anything, it's useful for us because we get rid of a pile of scrap that we don't need. And it's useful for him because I believe he is doing a track. So you can see there's no track here. No across to here. So yeah. I mentioned we don't have dead zones anymore, which then we have them set. Differently, which really does annoy me, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, just have to deal with it. Don't know why this doesn't seem to want to attach either. There we go. Alright, so 
Spartan is also way down here. I mean, up here. Well, my luck, then this probably just leads to a field. And I do actually know my way around, but you know, roleplay purposes. I think I might actually park up just uh, off of that ring road uh, close as it is way too tight to get into so I might just have to park just off of it's kind of on the main road and just it keeps and halfers on and be as close to the edge of it as I can get. So yeah, having dead zones is really annoying. Actually, this is a uh, road. I forgot, it's not in great condition, is it? Yeah, it's very rough here. And it's all kind of broken up. And I believe they were doing public work on here by a different company, but then company actually went bust. So yeah. This is a quiet road just across here. And we've done to dual carriageway however it's pretty much never used by anybody. Because well you know where it is. There's a bit just across. Just down a bit that you can get on and it's a lot easier, a lot wider. And also it's an easier merge. Whereas that's just a straight junction. Yeah, my computer's having problems lag wise for some reason. I think it's just been cleaned out as I haven't done that in a while. And also, I'm going to take Mulcher first. Because that's always where I put whether it's to sit on the front or. Yeah, it doesn't work. So if I left the bucket on top of the Mulcher, and Mulcher on top of the bucket it wouldn't be as safe. So I'll bucket on top of mulcher, you know, if it collapses. Well, yes, it would still have the possibility of damaging the mulcher. At least it wouldn't have been very likely for it to all slide. Whereas if the mulcher was on top, yeah, it would fall off because it is wider. And also, it's a lot kind of chunkier in general. I mean, legally this thing isn't meant to be on the road, but I mean, what's the chance that the police are going to come along at this exact moment? Plus, they'd have to check that, and I feel like it's very, very unlikely that they would. Plus, I think, considering the distance I'm going, it should hopefully be alright, considering most police officers are lenient-ish in this. Right, so we need to go down here. I can't see very well, but yeah, we've got to as well, this thing can't physically get in the close with the trailer. Well I mean it can but I have to use secret strength which is as I'm sure you guys know just have very very annoying with your stick. Right, so just bucket left and then back to the yard. And luckily we can't break any speed limits with this beast. Just to improve FPS I am going to turn beacons off. 
won't really affect you guys that much because I'm going to just stay in cab until we're on the trailer and park up. There isn't a lot of distance, but it's a bit, but yeah. Considering, oh, actually, I've just noticed I've made a mistake. Getting back out of here will be a pain. Weaver does like to slide on the metal here, which is a bit annoying. Okay, plan is just sit that on the whip up there, and then you know, parking brake is on. Alright. So, yeah. Okay, we'll get that. That'll hopefully get that is all locked down. Turn that off, turn that off. Mm, also turn off beacons. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, we can go up and around. But yeah, I do apologise about the FPS. And because I just installed quite a few mods recently, like last night, kind of recently. It's all simple IC. I haven't enabled it on this save game yet. But yeah, my computer's just needing to clean up. Right, we will stop here. Uh, so we are actually going to look at this is our next construction site. It is some gas main work, I believe. A new gas main for a house that's going on up there. I was just wanting to put. Don't remember what it is. It's some sort of. They're putting it to. They're putting piping in here. They've already brought it down. So yeah, basically, I'm just being employed to dig out a trench here. As you can see, it's how I got. And you know, we've got a fair depth that we'll have to go. If I can see, yeah, that's probably better. You can see it's at least that. So, I don't know what it was exactly, but anyway, hope you guys have all enjoyed this episode. Yeah, I'm going to get my computer's FPS and stuff sorted. So yeah, we're done at about 30. Anyway, hope you guys have all enjoyed, and yeah, goodbye.